Welcome to today's episode where we dive into an exciting intersection of gaming and geospatial technology. Picture this. You have the power to recreate your favorite real-world locations right inside Minecraft. Sounds intriguing, right? Well, today we're exploring a fascinating open-source project called Arnis, which does just that, all thanks to the programming language Rust and the vast data from OpenStreetMap. So, how does Arnis work? To put it simply, it harnesses detailed geographic data and turns it into immersive Minecraft worlds. Imagine replicating your hometown's iconic buildings, parks, or even those hidden gems you love. With Arnis, the possibilities are virtually endless. Arnis functions by utilizing geospatial data retrieved from the Overpass API, which queries the OpenStreetMap database, a collaborative effort where anyone can contribute to creating maps. This open source alternative to commercial mapping services allows users worldwide to access rich geographical data. Now, when you want to recreate a location in Minecraft, here's the secret sauce. You select an area using a rectangle tool, and bam, the generation process starts, all from the coordinates 0, 0. But let's break it down a bit more. First, Arnis fetches the geospatial data for your chosen area. It then parses this raw data, extracting all the essential elements like buildings, roads, and even natural features. It's like being a digital architect. It prioritizes these elements to ensure they're generated in the right order before crafting them into the Minecraft world. This meticulous process allows for truly accurate and layered representations of real-world locations. Ever wondered about the performance? Arnis has taken it a step further. Initially developed in Python, the transition to Rust wasn't just a random switch. It was a strategic move aimed at pushing the algorithm's performance limits further. Rust's capabilities offer better safety and concurrency, making the world generation process more efficient and robust. The name Arnis actually stems from a tiny city in Germany, which was perfect for testing the project due to its manageable size. So whether you're an avid gamer, a city explorer, or just someone who loves to tinker with new tech, Arnis offers a rich toolkit to create detailed, realistic environments. Now, you might be wondering, what if I want to contribute to this project? That's the beauty of open source. The Arnis project welcomes contributions. Whether it's bug fixes, performance improvements, or even documenting the code better to help newcomers, your input could make a significant impact. As we wrap up, let's think about the potential of merging the physical and virtual worlds. What could we learn from interacting with digital recreations of our environments? Imagine schools using this technology for geography lessons, not to mention the creative potential for gaming communities. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're a Minecraft fan or someone interested in how technology can reshape our interaction with reality, definitely check out the Arnis Project. Until next time, keep exploring and creating.